Really, um, you guys looked pretty good for the first half an hour or so. Uh, what happened after that? Yeah, look, I, I thought we, we, we looked pretty good for about 70% of the game, Vince, you know, and um, it's another one where uh, we are changing certain behaviours and habits. Um, you know, we, we, we do have uh, and have been working a lot of things and it was just set piece, second phase set piece. We're, we're pushing out, we don't pick up. It's a little bit of naivety. You know, Mark Natter is a young kid, but he, he's going to keep growing and learning uh, from those things. Our goalkeeper should have been pushed up a little bit more as well. And, you know, you're talking about you know, Matthew Leckie, who's got almost 100 caps for the Socceroos, and that's the, that's a difference right now. You know, they're an experienced team, they're the champions, and, you know, they win in the game, and, and then all of a sudden they, they get a sniff and they're able to get one and, and a second one uh, from a set piece as well. And that's that's kind of where we're at at the moment and where, where, where the opposition is at, you know. And it's been two tough games against the best, you know, best two teams uh, in the competition, but... You know, people might call call me a bit naive in thinking this, but I, for, for me, you know, I've started a, a journey. The players have bought in, the staff have bought in. There's been a hell of a lot of work, and I've seen a massive improvements in the performance. This is our best performance in, in the three games that I've had them for. Um, and, uh, and obviously, we need to improve uh, in those areas. Like I said, you know, two set pieces and a bit of quality from Berenger in the end as well. But I didn't see a drop in the heads. We spoke about things at half time. You know, we, we, we need to obviously challenge them uh, from a character point of view. The, the effort was there, um, you know, the, and, and, and in terms of what we asked them to do, you know, it's, it, it's all there. And I'm gonna, as long as I'm here, I'll continue on the journey. And like I said, it's disappointing result wise, um, but the body of work was there today. And, and, um, and we're gonna get better, I believe. With the set pieces, obviously your predecessor had some issues with set pieces as well for a long time. For a year plus at this club, where set pieces defensively have been an issue, does that suggest that you know it's, it's not going to be a quick fix? Yeah, this is, uh, something that's that's set pretty deeply into the team at the moment. Yeah, and 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 I'm big on on on, on um, you know um, ball stoppages, what I call them, which whether it be free kicks, uh, corners, throw-ins. Um, we, we collectively need to get better at that as well as a coaching staff, and and, and I'll, I'll, I'll look at us first. Uh, and I always do. You know, upon reflection, did we do what the best we could um, to make sure that you know we didn't concede, or can we score? And th there's many different reasons, Vince, f um, for that. But we, we've just got to keep working hard and, and making sure that we find the solutions going forward, it's, 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 as, it's as much a mindset as anything else when you're defending and attacking corners, among, uh, along with placing certain players in the right areas that can actually do the job that's asked of them, whether it be marking space or do you have someone on the near post, far post, you know, picking up. They're all individual qualities that you have to assess and then match it up against the opposition. Um, and then you need to attack the ball, right? Uh, is, is something that we say, but it's it's certainly it's certainly still there, and it's certainly something that we have to. to I'm not saying we're, we're anywhere near where we need to be, but so far this, this journey's only been a couple of weeks, and like I said, it's been um, a, a huge improvement. Any other questions from the Zoom? Yeah, Jason, you uh, can you maybe explain why um, Jack Rodwell, Johnny Katrumbus, and Tom Hamed didn't feature in tonight's lineup? Yeah, they picked up niggles, and and with the amount of games that we've got, you know, made the decision not not to 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 risk any of them um, moving forward. And uh, Philip Kanka made his debut off the bench at the end of the game. Is he a youngster that has impressed you in your short time at the club so far? Yeah, he has. He has, and and he deserves it. Um, he's been on periphery, but you know, he's he's got a lot of good attributes. You know, he's comfortable on the ball. He's he's good in the air. He's strong in a tackle and. You know, the only, I guess the only thing going against him when I first laid eyes on him was the lack of match minutes and, and how he would um, stack up against, you know, playing uh, from the beginning, let's say. But, you know, not to say that he's going to be starting the next game or going forward, but good young kid, it's bided his time and, you know, he certainly, he certainly is doing all the right things so far. So does that mean we could maybe see some more youngsters get some more minutes? There's quite a few of them already getting minutes. <laughs> And um, maybe, maybe not. It depends. It depends on, on a number of things. It depends on uh, their performance, obviously, first and foremost. It depends on are they 
Uh, they're doing the things that we've been asking them to do at training and working on. Um, there's a lot of a lot of things that they, that it depends on, but um, you know, at this football club, I've been you know I've, I've asked been, I've been asked to do a job, and and right now, like I said, uh, result-wise, disappointing the last two games, performance-wise, great, but you know you, you're not going to move up the table if um, if you don't fix the scoreboard in the end of things, and 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 that's that's. Um, that's the one that we have to keep working towards and making sure in those moments in both boxes that we are switched on. And I guess just on Petrados playing as uh, a nine, uh, was is that like, what did you make of his performance? And I guess, is that like something that could be uh, considered for the future too? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. The, in, in terms of the style that I want to play, you know, I, you know, I do want to play a dynamic um, style and, we want to be possession based and we also want to you know stretch teams and whether that be in behind them or in in front of them um you know with them without the ball you, you you've got to be able to uh to play the role and they're pretty clear the players now because we've given them you know a lot of a lot of video and a lot of feedback and 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 you know training on the park in terms of our style and you know you, you've got to be able to do it and and, and dimmy it's not foreign to him you know he does play has played as a tenor or, or a wide player but in terms of today, you know, um, I thought he worked extremely hard and, you know, he should have been rewarded with more than just the, the goal that he scored in the penalty because he worked extremely hard with and without the ball. But, you know, again, it's a little bit different and new for him, but he, he's taken on the challenge and put his hand up and, you know, I thought he, he did okay. Uh, 